Hey everybody, this is the King Solomon of the internet and I'm answering your questions right here on the Daily Mailbag. Stick around. Carl writes, Both of my athlete daughters said the Vandy kicker fiasco was a mockery to female athletics. It appears that many viewed this the same way. Is there real blowback in that locker room over this situation? Well, they couldn't play against Georgia and reportedly part of that was because there was blowback over this situation and now we'll see how they do this weekend against Tennessee. But my position on this has been pretty straightforward from the get-go. It has been we can't allow identity politics to get to sports. What do I mean by that? I mean we can't reward someone because of their identity as opposed to their achievement. If Sarah Fuller had bombed her kick into the end zone for a touchback or nailed a 40 or 50 yard field goal I would be the first person to say wow this is a tremendous accomplishment and it could open the door for other non-traditional kicking uh, people who are not otherwise getting the job to be able to get the job, right? Women or others who may not have even considered that they had the ability to kick playing other sports male soccer players uh, female soccer players you name it people with big legs Australian kickers are starting to get a chance now she didn't do that she kicked a crappy 30-yard dribbler and then they let her be a hero being interviewed on the Jumbotron at the Titans game against the Browns I think this entire thing is a stunt And as more and more evidence comes out about it it appears to me to be more and more of a stunt. I think there are a lot of men and women out there who are fans of athletics and feel the same way as I do. This participation generation of sporting fans uh, sporting kids we should award excellence not award everyone for mediocrity. Her kick at best was mediocre. I don't know why in the world it was considered a signature achievement.